Oftentimes we come to a conference, we go to a meeting, we take a lot of notes, and then we go right back. The phone starts ringing, there's emails. We start going through things it's like, oh yeah, I'm gonna implement that. Information without implementation is insane. I believe in the five B's of a good talk, five B's. Be brief, brother, be brief. <laughs> Some of you don't even get it, it's all right. It's just... Five B's, he's not even my brother. What are those two or three things, if you do them every single day, your business will grow? To so rejuvenate, refuel, and refocus. You can't keep an attitude uh, that's strong and on fire if you don't take time to rejuvenate yourself. Refocus and refuel. How many, how many can relate to this? How many have days to where you're in the parking lot and you already made up in your mind that you're looking for a fight that day? <laughs> you know, you're just walking through the office just looking at people. They say, good morning. Morning. <laughs> There's always that person just smiling. Hey, how are you today? You're like, how about you go away? Folks, I get it. There's gonna be those days you're not always going to feel like it. But understand this, every single one of us that's in this room is replaceable. Look at somebody and say, you can be replaced. And some of you looking like, that's good, I'm ready to go. No problem. I like, I like Mike's haircut. A cue ball and an eight ball right here. Because kind of... <laughs> I got in the game when it was called a 30-30 rule, that's what I call it. We're up 30 points, 30 seconds left. I got to play, all right? I got to play. And see, my jerseys don't smell because I never played, so it's okay. They did, never, never even washed them. Grab me some butter, please. There we go. <laughs> Picture me and my wife right there. It's a black and white photo. Some of y'all in HR going, I ain't laughing at that joke, man. We, <laughs> we just had a symposium over that one, okay? Remember this right here? You have no idea what that is, do you? A little bit. She's like, that is a tire changer. <laughs> no, I just, <laughs> you know what, folks? There are days that I do not feel like sitting on another airplane. In fact, the way airplanes are today, man, it's, it's, it's tough. <laughs> I'm on a plane like this now. I, I don't want no problems. I want you to think about that. How's that working out for you? Have you, have you, have you, have you deviated a little bit? I, I get it. Turbulence in life happens like an airplane sometimes, doesn't it? It's hard to maintain an attitude a champion we well, don't acknowledge your own shortcomings in the grief that you're dealing with and I was dealing with it big time my mother called me on September 16th and I was like I'll get back to you I'll get back tomorrow I'll get back to my mom so the 18th I'm golfing some of our clients that were in town and I look at my my phone and miss like six calls from my dad and he said baby boy mom is gonna be with the Lord folks to say that I have some guilt would be an understatement I got a tremendous amount of guilt. The reality is, folks, I had plenty of time to do it. I made a choice not to. What's your slideshow going to look like after it's all said and done? On this thing we call work-life challenge? What's it going to be about? Will it be the accolades from the office? Employee of the week? Your certifications? Or is it going to be about family? I'm not saying you leave your job, quit your job, not to give all your best to your job, but save your best for home. See, that's what you have to convey to your clients all the time. What is your reasons? At the end of the day, it's not about a boat. It's what the boat provides, those memories which are replaceable. It's not about the summer home. It's what the summer home provides. This is the best. Thank you. We forgot about this. Thank you for what you do in a timely and meaningful manner. Don't tell them in December at the Christmas party if they did it in January. You are the difference maker. You can have all the fancy software tools, the new protocol, all the rest of that. At the end of the day, nothing replaces the personal touch. I came home pretty late. I'm taking off my tie. She sits up in bed and I can, she goes, how was the trip? I was like, the trip was fine. She goes, you know what? I don't know you. It's 2.30. I'm tired. She goes, I don't know you. I said, you know what? Don't talk to strangers then. And then I went to the couch. Outside. And you hear these people say, oh, never go to bed angry. It was better to wake up dead. I constantly say this, and I speak to me first. If you no longer enjoy what you do, please quit. Not after this conference. Give it about a week bad for business. <laughs>
but you have to love what you do. It's hard to maintain an attitude of service, an attitude of a champion, if you no longer love what you do. Folks, guard your fire, because you know what? A lot of people are walking around with buckets of water to douse your passion and enthusiasm for what you do. I mean that, hire slow, fire fast. How many of you ever hired someone and a week later you're going, was this the same person we interviewed? <laughs> Folks, I can't motivate you. Cause you know what, I don't know you. If it has to be a book or a raw, raw speech every morning, you're really in trouble. Those things are nice supplements. At the end of the day though, it's gotta come from inside.